Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, A Rare Card Lost. That can be found at the community notice board in Calm. So, let's go ahead and fast travel over there. Should scare you. All right, let's squeeze through here. Uh, Shinra troopers always set me on edge. Feels like they're watching my every move. The sight of those helmeted thugs is enough to make me tense no matter what I'm doing. Then again, what if one of those helmets was hiding the man of your dreams? Well, under different circumstances, I might not mind getting in there. These guys are not chatty. So, let me get this straight. Bring okay, this here we are at the notice board. A rare card lost. The client is bartender with a losing streak. Location, calm, the rusty arrow. Got beat bad at Queen's Blood, but the real stinger was when I had to give up the rare card I'd staked on the match. I'm looking for a pro to win it back on my behalf. If you think you've got what it takes, drop by the bar. I accept the job. All right, so this is the bar right here, the Rusty Arrow. That's good enough for me. The name's Fash, and I could really use your help. The truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. What card is it? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He's... Stolen! Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. You're so tough, it can be... Get it back yourself. Don't you think I would if I could? God! I'm a shit player, don't you get that? Whatever you say. Hardcore players are willing to throw down hell a gill for rare cards. Please, I'm begging you, you gotta get it back before that asshole tries to sell it. We'll take the job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Challenge to a match? Yes. Alright, so no reward for this one. Let's look over our deck, make sure it's good. Uh, the one thing I wanted to incorporate is a cactuar. So let's see, how are we doing that? Maybe we'll just drop a queen bee. 
Yeah, let's trap Queen B. Bring in the Cactuar. Other than that, it looks good to me. So let's play. All right, do we want to mulligan anything? Mm, not really. No, we're good. Let's play. All right, we'll start with the uh, Grasslands Wolf. Okay. Guess we'll go with the Quetzalcoatl here. They are uh, encroaching on my territory already. Let's go ahead and play the right trooper. Give them something to think about. All right, well, that was a bad move because now he's not going to be able to encroach on me anymore. Let's go with a crystalline crab right here. So we got a three set up there. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Perhaps we'll go Grasslands Wolf. Let's do Grasslands Wolf. So now he's stuck. And the win is pretty much secured for me at this point. So now we're just going to rack up the score, really. Uh, let's see. We'll do a Leprechaun over there. Oh, well, we got a Cactuar. We can, uh, play that there to boost the, uh, the slot down below. Is that worth it, though? Maybe? I mean, that's three. Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Oh, we could put an alpha dump there. That'd be the same result. It'd be basically the same result. Ah, whatever. Cactuar is more fun. Oh, and then I also get the... I, I put the alpha dump right next to it, so actually, this was better. Gotta really rack up the score, you know? Oh, and in fact, we can do so even more by playing Crystalline Crab there. Boom! Oh, that was a nasty win. Nasty. Twenty six to nothing. Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no prop. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. The suspects remain at large. Okay. So Talk to Virgil at the clock tower. Be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are Let's go upstairs. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Made from local wood, guaranteed to bring you closer to that special someone too. Brings you good luck and keeps you safe to boot. There's nothing this doll can't do. Sold only in calm. The perfect souvenir. Okay, let's see if anybody's hanging out in the weapon shop. Extra bullets, a couple cans of oil. Gotta be prepared for anything these days. Oh, well, this person in the back. Better pick me up one of these. Heck yeah, man. Take the sickle. Our candy uses locally produced cherries and chocolate. Free samples available. We've got Midgar style too. They're as sweet as can be. All with zero calories. 
Zero calories. Dismissive lady should be more encouraging. All right. Well, anyways, here's Virgil. Oh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Challenge to a match? Yes. All right, no reward for this one. Our deck was obviously fine on the last match, so we're going to stick with it. All right, do we wish to mulligan? Maybe that magic pot is probably a bit much this early. But maybe not. Yeah, let's actually mulligan that. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, we're good to go. So, we got the Cactuar exactly when I would want to see him. Early on, let's play him right there. Quetzalcoatl, you're in. Ooh, magic pot. That is very interesting. Let's play the Crystalline Crab here. Right, they're starting to encroach on my territory. Oh, but that's a good pull. We got the Riot Trooper. Let's go ahead and play him. So if I can get that Magic Pot in the center, we're gonna be in great shape which it looks like I'll be able to do. So let's play our Grasslands Wolf right there, and that really limits what he can do. Okay, so the win's pretty much already assured. Let's go ahead and play our Crab here. All right, and then uh, I guess we'll do Alpha Dunk there. And then we'll play our Magic Pot right in the center for a massive boost. And then we get to end with a Quetzalcoatl. Oh, that is, <laughs> that is a beat down. Oh boy. All right. That's obviously a win. Thirty-four to nothing. Nasty. Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously. I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Okay, talk to Thorin at the card shop outside Calm, and we've actually been to his shop before, but it was closed at the time. Before we head over there, let's look around at the clock tower somewhere. Fluffy Palm is packed with cream. 
come share a mogul bun with that special someone. You won't regret it. Mogul buns. Gosh, those paratroopers startled me. Maybe I should spoon my heart atop the tower. Who knows if I'll ever get another chance. You mean it? Oh, well, there. I, uh, I never said I'd be spilling my heart to you. Ouch. Dang. It's brutal, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if anybody's at the top of the clock tower. Just gotta cross those mountains and then we'll be in Junon. From there, we'll take the ferry to Costa del Sol. It's gonna be great! I feel like I can already hear the waves crashing on the beach! The only problem is, I'm not 100% sure how to cross the mountains. It's alright. We'll figure it out together. From here, Midgar looks the same as ever. Hard to believe it's facing an unprecedented crisis. Uh, yeah. Even if we don't live there, it affects us all. There has to be something we can do to help. Right, right. That's all super important, I agree. But can't we just, like, hold hands and be romantic? Ruined it, buddy. Now it's definitely not happening. Oh, look at that. It went for the hand. Got denied. From here, Midgar looks... All right, so let's go to Thorin's card shop. Which is right there, and we can fast travel. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that feud. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? Well, let's pretend to be a novice. Ask what Queen's Blood is. Only the most popular card game in recent memory. Name comes from that legend of the queen who ruled the world till she was deposed and killed by her people. And from that royal blood spilt, sprouted the fiends of the world. Come on, you know the story. At any rate, game's really taken off. No matter where you go, you'll find people willing to play. Ooh, before we play, let's purchase cards. He has card 98, Titan, a legendary Queen's Blood card. I'll take that. 500 gil, I can afford it. And then card 108, Fat Chocobo, also 500 gil. Also legendary, let's do it. Okay, challenge him to a game. <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. Okay, so let's edit our deck, see if we can incorporate Titan and Fat Chocobo. Uh, you know, I think I actually like Fat Chocobo more than the Magic Pot. The Magic Pot can be absolutely amazing, but it's rare that you get that setup just right. And Fat Chocobo actually adds units, which is really nice. So, let's swap Fat Chocobo in for Magic Pot. And then Titan, let's drop an Alpha Dunk and get Titan. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's play, and the reward for this one is card number 107, the Chocobo and Moogle. Raise power by one for each other enhanced allied card. So this could be really, really, really good. And it's only uh, one unit to play, so quite the card. And um, maybe in the future, using that, I go back to Magic Pot, just because that can potentially raise a bunch of cards. But for now, we're good. Oh, 
All right, uh, I feel like this is a pretty good starting deck. Let's play. All right, we'll start with the Leprechaun. Actually, no, let's go with the Grasslands Wolf, just in case I pull catch one. All right, he's starting with the Chocobo and Moogle. Uh, well, let's go Leprechaun. Although I would like to encroach a little bit more into his territory, but I think this will be okay. Let's go with that. All right, well, he's not getting out too quickly either, so we should be okay. Let's go Leprechaun here. Huh, that was an interesting play. A very interesting play. Okay, well, I uh, I think what we'll do is throw a Grasslands Wolf here, because then I can play Quetzalcoatl and take back both of those positions if need be. So either way he plays, I can really kind of get him stuck. So yeah, let's, let's go with the Wolf here. So he's going Riot Trooper. I was kind of hoping for something like that. So now I can play my Quetzalcoatl. Oh, and I also have a Cactuar, but I can't make use of him anymore. So he came a little too late. Uh, but anyways, Quetzalcoatl there. Oh, actually, that was a very bad move. Why did I do that? That was kind of silly. Uh, well, now I kind of... Put myself in a pickle. Let's see, how do we want to get out of this? I guess my only option is to play my security officer and I hope he's got nothing to play there. I might still win the middle lane regardless because I've got the fat chocobo that I can play, but yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't play that well. Kind of think. Well, actually, no. Let's wait for him to play, because then we can take the slot back. If I play now, then he could get both. So I want to stall a little bit. Oh, and actually, Fat Chocobo will will take that spot. So that's kind of interesting. Well, in that case, let's let's actually play play something there. So. Uh, I guess we'll just play a security officer. Kind of force him to play that one, and then I can take it back with the fat chocobo, which he probably won't be expecting. So yeah, security officer. Oh, interesting. Well, that was ill-advised. Okay, well, I'll just security officer. Left the door open for me on that one. Okay, well that lets me play Titan. And then Fat Chocobo. All right, I had to work a little bit for that one, but we got the win. Convincingly as well. Twenty-three to nothing. And we got that Chocobo and Moogle card. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Okay. We need to bring the card back to that bartender. But before we do, we are actually near the fourth attempt at getting the proto relic over here we have phenomenon intel 4 the hideout and we can use the key over here the businessman's hideout so let's call in our chocobo and head over What? You 
orcs looking at me funny? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, it's a magic warrior. I can't get to him. There we go. Alright, made quick work of him. Right past those without picking them up. Okay, so right over here, we have a gate. The door has been unlocked. We got some iron ore and some uh, Leia titanium. Okay, some orcs in the way. We'll just go around them. Okay, investigate the area. Hey, boss. What? I don't get it. Why are we playing dead in the hideout? Obviously, so we can pull one over on the floor, dumbass. Pull one over? Well, dead. Try using that brain of yours. You can't make a dead guy any deader, right? He'd be wasting his time attacking us, so we won't. Because we're dead. Exactly. That's why the possible posse trick is foolproof. So, how long we gotta stay dead? Till the coast is clear. Now suck it up. Well, looks like we're out of luck. Just dead bodies here. I guess we'll never get that proto relic. Let's wake up the dead businessmen. Hold this. How much for the relic? You wish. Keep dreaming. No. This is you talking to us, really? Don't say I didn't try to keep it peaceful. You guys met with the wrong legitimate businessman. All right, well. Negotiations didn't last long. Let's get an assess on Beck. I got you. The leader of Beck's badasses, a gang of bandits attempting to establish a foothold in the business world. His unique ability to convincingly feign erudition has won him a devoted gaggle of lackeys. At present, he is trying to cultivate an air of corporate badass. Exploiting his elemental weakness will pressure him. Attacking him while he is busy setting a trap will stagger him instantly. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't block that thing. I thought I could. Jeez, Klaus taking some serious damage from that. Alright, maybe we'll play it safe and have Barrett heal him. 
Jeez. Oh, you're getting butt kicked over here. Alright. We've got lots of ATB now. Let's assess the big bot. Uh, a lot of tweet, but there we go. That's good. An abandoned sweeper that was heavily modified by Beck's badasses. Equipped with an auto repair unit, this autonomous weapon serves as a guard for the bandit's hideout. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Destroying its arms will prevent it from unleashing certain attacks until repairs are complete. Alright, so now that our assessing is done, we should um, just focus on getting rid of the, the humans first. Go ahead and do a prey here. No holding Alright, we got one of them down. Bert's here. Let's do a focus thrust on Bert. Oh, he took a bunch of them. Get ready. Look, shit out of here. Oh, I can grab this time. Nope. Oh, he's pressured again. Let me do a focus thrust on him. Ah, oh, that didn't last long. Alright, so just Bert is left for the humans. Oh, not gonna get grabbed. Nope, bad bot. Out. All right, so Aerith, let's have you use your shockingly strong soul drain on old Bert. All right, Bert's gone. Doing a prey. No. Alright, I don't know if I want to go for an arm or not. Maybe. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, let's go for an arm. Barrett, let's have you... Well, actually, give him just a second. Aerith will have you attack the right arm. Go over to the right arm. Wait, is he gonna move on me? Okay. Braver on the right arm. Brace yourself. Oh, got it. Good, I think. Braver on the right arm. Again. No, don't you dare! Dang it. All right, Barrett's gonna have better luck. Maximum fury on the right arm. Right, well, I'm just kind of hitting all the limbs, swinging away. Triple flash. Alright, well, whatever. We're just gonna slowly whittle it down, I guess. I think I just got rid of an arm. Let's do a prey. Oh, that one's still there. And come on, finish it off. Trying to get that arm. Crippled the right arm. All right, we've almost got a stagger. There we go. Finish it off. Pay them 2,000 gil. All right. You guys better not go back to a life of crime. This better be a turning point for you. Ah, ah. What you doing, 
that voice? That's how you broker an honest And hey, no more bandit stuff. You better believe it. From now on, we're earning our money the honest way. As a business. Next business, baby. Next business. Right. Let's talk corporate structure. I'm president, and you're my employee. Oh, employees? Oh, I'm employees. I'm employees. Wait. What's a boy do anyway? <laughs> Work as a servant. Servants? So like, don't be a dumbass, <laughs> dumbass. And you, quit screwing with his head. All right, boys. We got work to do. There's glittering riches out there, and your president's gonna lead you to it. Let's business. Yes, sir, Mr. Press. To the press. So, you think they've turned over a new leaf? Who knows? Obtained a proto relic in the grasslands. We got a trophy for that. And what the heck is going on? Eyes of fire with purpose. Oh, yet a stripling. One whose metal must be tested. Grasslands obtained Vex Proto Relic. Alrighty, we finally got it. It took a little bit of effort. So, we still have not turned in our quest with the bartender, so let's go ahead and fast travel to Calm. Chatty. The avalanche was here? In this town? How could they have slipped by us? The next time they come through Kong, though, we'll be ready. We may be an inspection team, but we can hold our own in a fight. <laughs> I dare you. Try it. This isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off for you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, 
This guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that 7th Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise. The suspects remain large, but public security is confident they will be apprehended. Alright, our relationship with Tifa has deepened, and now she's got a smiley face. Alrighty, so our quest is complete. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up right here. With this blinding light, what is going on with this lighting? There we go. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.